beauties welcome back to my channel today i am doing a video that was very inspired um, after i dived into the closet organization cleaning part which is still in the process i'm not gonna lie this is gonna be so sad for you to see but doesn't look good there's still lots of work to do i decided that i wanted to do a shoe collection video but something more specific i wanted to talk about sneakers it's a style of a shoe that i've been wearing for a long time it's very trendy very comfortable highly recommended but i also really wanted to be honest with you and kind of show you the pieces that are the best splurge the most worn shoes and stuff that i really regret buying because this is the time to be honest with myself and with you and hopefully this honesty will prevent you from making the same mistakes as I did. The first category I want to cover is my most affordable pair and these are dun, 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 the Joe Fresh Canvas Sneaker. These are $19 canadian and they're basically like the cats that i used to wear a lot but what i don't like about the cats is the fact that they are so labeled there's a huge cats thing on them and these are just the perfect shoe to wear with dresses to wear with shorts in summertime sometimes my leather sneakers just feel heavy these are so so light really breathable and so easy to maintain and make sure to clean these are canvas so there's a lot of really easy ways to keep these what next up is my best investment sneakers if you've been following me for a while you won't be surprised and i'm gonna show them to you but also i'm so sorry they look like they don't look good it's time to replace them but this is definitely the best money i've ever spent my common project shoes that right now look like they just need a little bit more love I will probably be replacing them soon. They are on the pricier side. They were about $500 if I'm not mistaken. But these are leather. And I've worn them for three years now through all seasons. But they've been just serving me so well. If you look at my lookbooks, 90% of the shoes that I wear with any of my outfits are these. So these to me are the best classic white sneakers go to that will take you everywhere at all times of the year if you're crazy like me you'll wear them through snowstorms as well my next category is biggest splurge for shoes and these are without a doubt my chanel sneakers these i got in the winter of this year and they are probably the biggest splurge for me i personally am a big big fan of chanel it's very aligned with me you know if you have to like choose one luxury brand that's just like you i would say chanel these i've been wearing um on and off and i've been making sure that i keep them in good condition i really really like them i probably will wear them more in the spring summer and i think i got them actually in miami so that makes sense don't regret them for sure it's kind of like a dad sneaker but much more feminine way and the only reason why i splurge on a sneaker pair from chanel is because first of all designer sneakers has been like all the rage in the past few years and if you remember the really ugly like balenciaga ones that people were buying so i did want a chunkier sneaker but i didn't want to buy something so so trendy and why this kind of made sense to me is because I actually bought another pair when I was pregnant with Jake, so eight years ago, from Chanel. This is more summary. And I've been wearing them. They've been serving me so well. Quality is amazing. And I just felt like I got them when they weren't so like that, that sneaker trend of like a chunkier sneaker. And it just showed me that they really stood kind of the test of time. And even though I took a break from wearing them, they came back so strong. So I decided to kind of buy a different shade and just like a different style okay the next category for the sneakers are my biggest regret are you ready for this i don't know what i was thinking but i feel like it was before i found my true style these gucci high tops what are those? that are have like Fur. so i don't buy things with fur anymore that's number one number two um this situation 
is not a thing anymore for me i mean the color is beautiful i kind of like still i i see the appeal i see what drew me to them but no so this i bought uh i think i was actually pregnant with jake as well so a lot of the purchases that i regret i did buy during pregnancy i have to say and i feel like a lot of the times you know when you're pregnant i mean i couldn't really wear any other shoes and i was pregnant in the winter with jake so i had to find something super comfortable and still feel stylish so i just really like went out and just did this so this is definitely a regret and the most bougie shoe I own. I haven't worn them in years, uh, years, and I don't really know what to do with them. I wish there was a way to take out this fur, and I don't know. <sighs> the next one is my oldest pair of sneakers is these Saint Laurent sneakers and I know that a lot of my sneakers are actually like luxury brands because I honestly really do invest in shoes and in bags that's my go-to with clothes there's obviously kind of the staple pieces that i would like to invest in but shoes and bags are just like i don't cheap out anymore just because as i mentioned i wear these for years and I just really want to make sure that they're high quality, um, that they look good, that they stand the test of time. So it's important for me to do it. So this pair from Saint Laurent, I actually got probably like four or five years ago. And this is the oldest pair that I still wear in my closet. I actually grew, because after the pregnancy with Maxi, my foot grew a little bit. So they're a little snug now but i still rock them and i still love them and they're still kind of a staple and this is again a style that has been around and is known for saint laurent for a while they still keep making the star sneakers a purchase i'm actually really happy with and i've been kind of going back and forth to it whenever i put kind of a plain outfit i put these on and they kind of give a little bit of a little kick to it you know the next one i want to show you two pairs that belong to the trendiest purchase i've made okay this is something that i have to say i've been highly influenced by the environment by trends and i feel like it happens to a lot of us where you know something is super in fashion everyone's wearing it or like people that you love their fashion style so you're like i need to have it these two represent that exactly the first item are these golden goose sneakers <sighs> they're pricey and they're dirty you buy dirty shoes they're dirty sneakers i can't explain it this is this is like how i got them in the mail i can't explain why this is a thing but i feel like i went to la to visit my friend and i remember she was like uh, we were out shopping and she said oh i love these shoes and i was like they're dirty and they're expensive and you're buying like expensive dirty shoes so like, yeah but they're just so cool so i was like i don't get it and then i came back and probably like six months later i ordered these because all of a sudden they were everywhere and i was just like i need a pair they're so cool the dirty ones i remember when i got them i showed them to gary and he's just like wow you're special so i bought them i swore that i will not buy another golden goose pair again not because i regret them but just like now a lot of people have them a lot of moms in the area have them it's kind of became like this cool sneaker and um yeah i just feel like when there's too many people that wear it it just becomes uncool so i bought them based on the coolness and now they're not so cool anymore but i still wear them because i do like the fact that i went for more kind of subtle colors and just that pop of red so they are still um, comfortable something that i use but never again another very trendy piece that i got influenced to buy are these gucci sneakers they're nice they're comfortable there's nothing wrong with them but they're just when you see them you're like gucci like you know so this was a very um influenced purchase of mine and um, i don't necessarily regret it but i can say that i've been like running to wear these my newest pair of sneakers this is from everlane and i actually got them as a gift they are really comfortable i like that they're kind of a different color this taupey color which again i was wearing them in the winter fall season and they were just not only comfortable but also kind of like had a statement of their own because of the color so they brought a little splash of color to the outfit yet just like kept that muted feel to them 